stands today we're going to be talking about some child star podcast drama oh Woo! can i tell you some child star podcast drama that i heard about recently not really drama uh it might be what we're going to talk about but is yes, it the fact me. that ned and the girl and ned's declassified were <laughs> f***ing <laughs> yes it is <laughs> That's so funny. It was the most uncomfortable clip I've ever seen. I'm like, oh, I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. The clip so I is... saw this tweet <laughs> and was like, this cannot be real. The what tweet, tweet by the way, is learning that they was fucking in between breaks on their Nickelodeon show is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and you see that and you assume that that's just like hyperbole. Yeah, it's not course. like it's real. Like... Right? It can't be real. So then I looked into it for like two seconds, and yeah. then I found this clip. Oh uh, yeah, it was like a reply to this tweet. I saw. I think I'm sure Do I saw this. Remember clip. this is the and the way it's edited and everything about it. This should not be. <laughs> they should not be so cavalier. Of, I guess maybe they should be. Am I a prude? You are a prude. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Am I uh, being prudish? Spoiler alert. At uh, doing this dive into the Ned's Declassified podcast, Lindsay is a. Certified freak. She is, <laughs> is she <crazy>. Lindsay? <laughs> Dude, the weirdest part, I gotta, I'm gonna set the stage for this clip, is that the third guy is just in the chair while they're talking. And it is <laughs> Dude, that's awful. not setting the stage of the clip, that's setting the stage for the podcast. <laughs> that's, that's the whole vibe. So it's that he is the c. Do you remember that I. What are you gonna you ask on this podcast? <laughs> First, what? Oh, no. Be I actually do. You really want to talk about this on the pod? I just wanted to say that I felt like a failure from that point because he after, didn't finish. I know. Yep. No, no. Why do you know that? Why do you know? I. Uh, he says he didn't finish, yeah. and then fucking Ned goes, "No, no," and she goes, "Yes, yes." <laughs> It's a, they all have differing memories of this one formative experience in his life. And it is crazy that the third guy has an opinion on yeah, their yeah. fucking first No, no, no. Job. You did not. <laughs> oh. You didn't. After a moment, he just said, thanks. Okay. And you got up and you went to the bathroom and you did your thing. No. I don't 100%. remember that at all. No, I remember the one in the backseat of your car. We can't talk about this on the pod. <laughs> I, I agree, Ned. Set it straight, the Ned. The realization is fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah. They's like, my mom watches this podcast. Oh, <laughs> Dude, God. I we, can't we believe. Busy. We got busy in quite a few places. <laughs> That's crazy. It's insane to me that this tweet that I thought was just silly, because like you seeing them as adults, this is fucking weird and uncomfortable and I hate it. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So I then started doing a little dive into the Ned's Declassified shorts to see if there's any more like- Any more sauce, because they're obviously tweets. posting crazy shit. This bath- Yeah, I was like, if they're willing to post that, there's gotta be some more stuff. There's levels of craziness. So sure. I've just, we're gonna spread the seeds if you fucking- Bro, the, you the can't. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let let everyone get an understanding of like the dynamic between the three. So not everyone is crazy, uh -huh. but like it sets the scene. <laughs> Dude, I ran through every <laughs> Ned's cast member before I landed on Devin. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? Damn. Remember that? See, the obviously job? hearing that, hearing that <laughs> after the job one is crazy, <laughs> but I think she's saying it in terms of like crushes, right? Sure. She's a fucking child. She's but not yeah, you don't say. All off. Yeah, I'm not sure anymore. Nez Declassified set was fucking crazy, bro. Uh, his reaction is so funny. Chosen one. <laughs> like telling Theo that I liked him and we yep. like held hands at the movies. He's so mysterious. And yeah. Rob. Yeah. And then Dev was Rob's like, funny. hey, and I was like, fuck you guys. Yeah, it reached that point where you were liked by, by all the boys. M meaning she had breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, their reaction face is on point. Yeah, I was going to say, great freeze frame reaction face to end the show on. Then uh, they also do these little skits that aren't like clips from the podcast. You know how people will do like lip sync things on like TikTok and stuff? Yeah, yeah, um, time, yeah. It feels like they're not doing like famous lip synced like audios, okay. which are the reason to do those because they go viral. So then people hear your sound and then whatever. Uh -huh. This one is just they found a specific sound that relates to the, the vibe of the podcast. <laughs> okay. It is crazy why don't you two cut the horse shit and get to the part where you admit your sexual feelings for one another Whoa! <laughs> why don't you two cut the 
Or it does feel out of nowhere. Also, is he wearing an Avatar t-shirt and jorts? What? <laughs> what am I okay, let's watching? not judge him on the Avatar t-shirt. One of the best TV shows to ever exist. You're uh, f***ing crazy. Uh, sure. I want you to know someone in chat said they be declassifying too much. <laughs> <laughs> Plus two. That was good. Um, okay, this one is uh, just a little bit more details on their relationship. Oh, no. This was when they were kind yeah. of, I guess, scared to talk about their relationship compared right, to now. Yeah. yeah. Where obviously they're okay talking about giving each other jobs. So. Right, right, right. Hey, did you knock it out of the park at any point? <laughs> you, you... No comment. No, no comment. comment. <laughs> no comment. I kind of want to know. What's... <gasps> they no want to know, but no comment. No comment. You don't get to know. Well, then that means get... they definitely win all the way. <laughs> this is actually so crazy compared to their most recent one. <laughs> what do they actually do on this podcast? They can't just horny bait. Um, so, as well as just, like, talk about how things used to be when they were all castmates, mm -hmm. um, they do a, a similar thing to a podcast that I know, mm -hmm. where they watch episodes of a TV show and give a little recap oh, every week. Um, I, I don't know if you've heard of a podcast that might do something similar, Stans. Mm -hmm. What if that react was put in an ethical way behind a paywall that people could access on a Patreon? You're starting to sell me a little bit. What if the two hosts were really cool, Chad and Handsome? <laughs> you've, you've lost me. <laughs> you've, <laughs> you've, I just can't imagine. Hey, little segue. Just watch the intro of this of our, of our this latest podcast oh, of Binge and Cringe, which is me gonna, and Stans. This is our okay. podcast. He, yeah, this is our podcast. He's going to make it seem like I said something bad. Okay. Well, what do you mean? Want... I'm just taking you, your words for You're what You're taking you said. my words out of context, and you've literally labeled it, don't take this out of context. This is going to be some stupid shit. I didn't want to mention this, but I have to because you've just predicted this episode. <laughs> no. He wants to f*** a baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's problem, yeah. Okay, that's better. I thought it was the other one. The other weird Wait, thing I said. wait. But it's crazy. I would have sex with a 16-year-old right now. No, that's not <laughs> that one. I said don't post that one. It was an impression. It was a impression bro it was me doing a character don't you understand every week there's one of us doing a dumbass voice saying the worst thing you've ever heard and i use it for the intro every time oh hell yeah binge and cringe if that doesn't sell you i don't know what will chat yeah. go and check it out it's a good time go and check and it out also watch the glee chat. Um, sorry, that was a little distraction. Let's go back to probably the craziest clip. Um, the it can't be crazier than the these. first clip, right? I think this is crazier because I it's the clip not necessarily as crazy, but what she has clearly done in a previous episode of the podcast is mm -hmm. fucking insane. Oh no! <laughs> so <laughs> how are you? It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> he started sending me dick pics about six months ago. I thought you guys didn't flattered. know each other. I just sent my picks a random number right what is happening here yeah. um, okay so, so also the, other... the whole obviously the picks things fucking crazy why the fuck is king back there who <laughs> <laughs> invited this guy he's not on the show what yeah. the hell yeah and why is he sending pics to random people and why is she <laughs> judging it? did he send her random because she's like hey you want to so, go on the pod yeah the the way that this is framed makes it seem like king back is just sending her Picks, right unprovoked but we will find out that it's not unprovoked and it turns out Lindsay's fucking insane <laughs> what the week on the pod <laughs> Lindsay consented to getting pics sent to her and let me tell you guys i they did you, not disappoint one of the best requests them. i've ever put out and Lindsay would not so stop she asked, showing she us went on the podcast I mean, and went, hey point, viewers right? send me dick pics <laughs> <laughs> at a certain point close your eyes with <laughs> She wouldn't stop showing us. That's crazy. I feel like I'm I'm actually watching like a just a it's like a high school band bus. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I don't I don't yeah. like this. I don't like anything about this. Uh, it might be not a high school, but certainly a fucking rock and roll bus, dude. They're on yeah. tour because yeah. apparently there was coke on the set of Ned's The Glass of Oh, there has to be. They're getting crazy. Yeah. I did get offered uh, some on set of Ned's one time. Damn. Ned's what on oh, Ned? No, no. Oh, see, they're saying no. They're defending the show. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Yes, on on it. Wait. Oh, speed. Is that the same? No, oh, no, no, no. no. That's yes, not. It is. That's different. No, it's that's not. worse. No, no it's, it's not. not. That's yes. a lot Unfortunately, more there was no cocaine on Ned's. Damn. It was only speed. That's Damn. <laughs> Which is crazy because as soon as they bring up, they were like, no, no cocaine. And she yeah. says speed, and they go, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, might have been. Wow, well, might have been a little bit. Just a bump. Oh, Can I?
Ask in mine. The other huge crew. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, the other huge crew. <laughs> the other huge crew member. That's got to be. That's got to be a leak, right? But then I don't know, like, how who else is famous in Ned's It could be Juicy Goss for them and not Juicy Goss for us, but I don't know. Right. Yeah, yeah like, it could have been crazy. Kyle Swan, you know what I mean? Just absolutely <laughs> it ripping was, it. For sure. I think Kyle's a fucking speed demon. And that was everything. That's all I've managed to find on Ned's Declassified craziness. I say that's all because, holy shit, <laughs> how insane is all of that? That's crazy. I, I, it, I will say... Their clips do make you want to watch the show because you're asking, right? like, how are they talking? Like, what what conversation could have happened to where this is where they are at, right? What conversation could have happened to make one of them say that they would f*** a 16-year-old? <laughs> Bro, they, we are out of context. <laughs> they are in context. They are contextually <laughs> They do aware. contextualize everything they're saying. You're right. You are yeah. correct. Okay, let's move on sure. to someone who we've covered in a previous child podcast drama story. Miranda Cosgrove. Um, no. Guess again. Um, who else was in a child podcast story? We did Miranda Cosgrove. Uh, oh, yeah, we did Wizards of Waverly Place. Dude, they were sassy. You remember that? They were sassy. It's not them. Oh, Cole Sprouse? It is the Sprouse twins Ooh. from Sweet Life and just Zach and Cody in general. Sure. This clip... Basically, 15 years ago. This is gonna be a baby gronk style uh, person telling us about it, but okay. I will give it like a synopsis. Sure. On the sweet life on deck, mm -hmm. they tried to get a dinner reservation at one point, and they were told, "Oh, you can't. We only have a reservation until like 2023." And they gave a specific date. Yeah. And that date went by. It's uh -huh. been 15 years, Stan, since, since sweet the life reservation. On deck. How? In, not even Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Sweet Life on deck with the one where they're on the fucking boat. I just feel so old, dude. It's crazy. And you should feel older because you don't even know. The fans' reaction to this being the date was uh, really funny. 15 years ago, Zack and Cody made a dinner reservation. Table for dose. We can squeeze you in at 7.30. Perfect. On November 16, 2023. That's in 15 years. But I don't feel like Italian that day. And that day is finally <laughs> here. And Dylan and Cole Sprouse posted <gasps> at exactly 7 30 today, showing how many fans are sending them messages about their table. <laughs> how being sick your is that table is just ready. Got so many DMs from fans just telling them that your reservation's ready. Aw, uh, that's sick. That's, that's cool. Crazy. That is like a fun little thing. 15 years later, that people still care, which is sick. So I uh, decided to have a check on their Instagrams, to touch base, see right. what the, the Sprouses are up to. See what they're up to. Um, Imagine so, they had a cameo on Ned's Declassified podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. No, this is Cole's Instagram currently, which he is kind of artsy, uh, like photograph pilled at the moment. The rest are just like photos that he's taken at like photo shoots and stuff, which is kind of cool. Sure. That he's got his own thing going. Excuse uh, and then, me? And then there's that. What the oh, fuck? <laughs> Hubba hubba. Don't say hubba hubba. It's just weird, bro. Don't stop sniffing. Um, so then I went to check out what Dylan's up to. Mm -hmm. Cole's posting his feet. Dylan yeah. doesn't really have any Instagram photos. He's got like Yo. a little doodle that he made. His cat is on the TV, I think is the idea. I mean, maybe uh, maybe he's like an Instagram stories guy. I mean, yeah, so I noticed he had a story. Let's yeah. have a look. <laughs> an ad no i think it is warcraft. playing warcraft rumble wow god this feels like a sponsored post though doesn't it right that's what i was thinking uh -huh. he's just a wow head dude he's he's playing wow waiting for war supply crates on this dk i boosted I think... we're getting raid ready the boy is so back <laughs> being rich and just playing video games would be so sick i'm halfway there right i play video games every day <laughs> <laughs> i play video games <laughs> Okay, well, whilst we're talking about drama affecting children, uh -huh. you know her, you almost assuredly hate her, YouTube's favorite ukulele playing predator is back, stands. Colleen! You, okay, you're saying I hate her, but not necessarily. Okay, what do you mean not necessarily? We've come to the conclusion that she's a piece of shit. Yeah, you're actually got right. That. I completely forgot what she did, and I thought about it for a second. I was like, yeah, she was weird, man. Yeah, she's back to her daily vlogs. Well, not necessarily daily. Um, oh, wow. And she kind of addresses it in the video titled Fall Vlog. This is her uh, first so one back. I thought we'd check it out. Hello, everybody. Sorry I've been gone for so long. I've really missed this. I've missed talking to everyone every single day. Obviously, the last video that I posted on here... It's really embarrassing, to say the least. <laughs> That's a nice view, it's it. I was being accused but of some pretty how embarrassing things, can it be, I right? I just was mad. It's still and, there. Um, <laughs> I should... True. And it's... 
the thing about it is it was true to her soul, right? She pulled out the ukulele and she sang her heart out. <laughs> Here's what I want to say today. Imagine she lifted up a ukulele, please. <laughs> please, no. She's not going to. Over the last 15 years of my career, I never wanted to hurt anybody, but it's clear that I did, and I feel so terrible about that. I also feel like there's probably people who are disappointed or feel abandoned by me because of my silence over the last few months. Damn, imagine if she just released this one before the ukulele. All of this um, seems to be like she is definitely saying everything to try and make her fans that maybe didn't really know too much or weren't necessarily dissuade from all the drama uh -huh. to be like, oh, this is a sincere apology. Now I can watch it without feeling bad. You yeah, know, for this sure. Is aimed for the parasocial viewers, not like us. She's yeah, it's, it, ex it is much, exactly right? to make people feel like, you know what? I can watch her now. She said the thing and it wouldn't yes. be as bad. Yeah. I honestly do not know how to transition from this conversation into a vlog, but... I watched a little bit of it. Apparently, she's really into stones. Uh, you mean... <laughs> That's what she's been doing. No diamonds. Sorry, my face is covering it. It says, no diamonds, yes rocks. <laughs> yes rocks. <laughs> so Let's go. Trash. Wait, she's not filming your kids. Good on you for not filming your kids. No, she's not filming it in this video. She doesn't bring the next... She like, doesn't film her kids anymore. She's done with that. She does, to be clear. She doesn't do that anymore. Uh, and that's it. That's the latest on uh, child stars or people that have been bad to children. Speaking of vlogs, you know who had a good vlog, vlog recently? I got two we messages about this vlog. One from my good friend Big A, who said this video rips, loved it. And I was like, well, f tell people to watch it then. And one from Ludwig, who said this is my new fucking fever demon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Kants, thank you so much for the child star drama chat. Please go watch this vlog. Hey, you either watch this vlog or you watch Colleen, and I want to know what side of history you're on, right? <laughs> so true.